Fraser, can I have your thoughts on the Barcelona game, please? Um, yeah, yeah, it was obviously a disappointing result in the end. Um, you know, it's obviously important that you try and pick up as many points as you can out your home games. Um, but <clears throat> there are plenty of positives to come out of the game. Uh, you know, we, we played well and, um, you know, they had a lot of possession, but they didn't really dominate, dominate us that much. So, um, you know, they didn't really threaten a goal um, that much until towards the end of the game, really. So, uh, you know, plenty of positives. And, you know, if we can play like that going into the last four games, then I'd expect to pick up some points. Of course, Barcelona's big outlay over the summer was Neymar, and you had two brilliant saves towards the end of the game. Could you kind of talk us through what was going through your mind as he was racing towards you? Um, no, not really. Just, you know, on a on one on one, I just felt he was going to go that way. Um, and, uh, you know, luckily he did. And then, uh, you know, the other one was just more instinctive, really. So, uh, you know, it was nice to make the saves. And um, But, you know, we did we did really well as a team. And, uh, you know, I thought Virgil Effie and, you know, Mika, Emilio, everyone defended so well and, you know, really limited their opportunities. Uh, from where you were standing, what was your thoughts on the, the red card incident? Was that a case of maybe Barcelona players surrounding the referee trying to force him from, like, a yellow card to a red? Um, yeah, it's a tough one. I didn't really see it at the time, but obviously looking back after seeing the video, it's obviously tough and um, probably a probably a hard one. Obviously, the ref did get his yellow out first, but you know it's just one of them. It's you know part of the game, and uh, you know it's obviously unlucky for Brownie that he'll probably miss a couple of games. But um, you know we've got a tremendous squad, and whoever comes in will do a fantastic job. This is your second UEFA Champions League campaign, of course. How do you feel you've grown as a goalkeeper playing in the competition? Yeah, it's, it's been good. It's a fantastic experience. You know, I think even if you include the Europa League the season before, um, you know, I think as a squad we've really improved and grown um, in confidence and belief uh, off the back of those performances. And, uh, you know, we've obviously had the opportunity to play both against big teams and big players. And, um, you know, we've all shown what we can do. Do you think it's interesting coming off at AC Milan and Barcelona, two massive European teams that perhaps the Celtic squad feels a wee bit aggrieved? that they haven't taken some from the game, it just maybe shows how far he's have come? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, we've probably just been missing that little bit of luck um, at times, but, um, you know, we've, we've been, you know, fully in, in both games and, you know, we've competed well over the 90 minutes and, um, you know, it's just little individual things that have, um, you know, been unfortunate and, you know, at that level you get punished. So, um, you know, we've come off the back of them and, you know, to have no points is obviously disappointing considering the performances that we've put in. Talking about your international career, I mean, how vital is, is your Champions League performances to making sure you're, you're constantly in the minds of Roy Hodgson? Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's very important for me, I think, you know, obviously um, it's such a such a high level to be playing at and, you know, it's kind of the pinnacle of European football. So um, if you can try and perform well in those games, then it's on, you know, a better stage and, there's a lot more coverage as well, so um, you know people tend to sit down and watch more. Is it a case maybe you, you feel that you're proving some people wrong that you are being called up despite as some people say that you're playing Scottish football? Uh, a little bit, but I think if you're playing Champions League, then um, you know that's that's a high level, and you know people can't really argue with that if you are playing Champions League football. So um, you know that's obviously been crucial for me over the last kind of year. So. Um, it's just important that we can do as well as we can and try and uh, you know be playing European football after Christmas. What's your thoughts been on this emerging defensive partnership between Effie Ambrose and Virgil van Dijk? Because obviously they did understand them last year with Kelvin Wilson, but who's obviously moved back to Norton Forest. Yeah, it's been brilliant. You know, Virgil's come in and settled in really quickly. So um, you know, he's he's been tremendous, and Effie's been unbelievable. I think you know whether it's defensively or on the ball and carrying it into midfield. So. Um, you know, it's a fantastic partnership and, you know, hopefully we can keep them both fit and uh, just have a settled back four because that can only benefit the team. The managers use phrases like, uh, you know, rebuilding, reshaping the team after, you know, Victor Lunyama, Gary Hooper, Kelvin Wilson have all moved on in the summer. But the new guys that come in have obviously done really well to kind of stabilise the team. What's your thoughts been on the way the Celtic squad is looking right now? Do you think it's maybe improved or it maybe stayed the same from last year? Um, it's been a tough one. Obviously, we lost you know big players and big positions for us over the summer. Um, you know, we lost you know most of the spine of our team. So, um, but you know, obviously, people have come in and done well. You know, obviously, Virgil's done well, and you know the other signings that we've made have uh, come in and been effective. So, um, yeah, I think you know obviously a young squad still. So, um, but I think the new signings have done well, and the lads have really helped them settle in. And um, you know, I think moving forward, we're looking pretty strong.
kind of looking ahead to this weekend against Motherwell, perhaps an added incentive uh, to get the win that you're defending an unbeaten run in the league? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think um, we're pretty proud of that at the minute. So it's important that we can keep that run going. And, you know, Motherwell will be a tough game. Uh, it always is. And, um, you know, it's just important that we keep trying to pick up points and win your home games as well in the league and just keeps that momentum going um, forward into the international break.